Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, I'm standing up for Governor Mike Pence. I'm standing up for Governor Mike Pence because the law is, there's already 20 states in America that have the same law. It is not a discriminatory law. It is a law of religious freedom. It's protecting the rights of Hoosiers, protecting the rights of citizens of the state of Indiana to express their religious freedom, their religious rights, their faith in their place of employment or their businesses that they own. And uh, let me just, matter of fact, now Jeb Bush. Um, look, criticism continues over Indiana's religious freedom law as GOP presidential hopefuls defend Governor Mike Pence's decision to sign this controversial legislation. I don't know why it's controversial. There's really ain't nothing in it that is. Uh, I think Governor Pence has done the right thing, said Jeb Bush. Uh, he said yesterday during a radio interview with conservative host Hugh Hewitt, he said this law simply says the government has to have a level of burden to be able to establish that there's been some kind of discrimination. The former Florida governor said, we're going to need this. This is really an important value for our country where you can respect and be tolerant of people's lifestyles, but allow for people of faith to be able to exercise theirs. I mean, what's wrong with Christians being allowed or any uh, religion in America being allowed to, uh, without infringing upon the rights of others, to express their faith? Notice, without infringing upon the rights of others, this Indiana law does not do that. I mean, this is just a conjured up railroading of a really good man. Mike Pence is a very good man. And he's a Christian. And I think that that's part of it here. They're, going, they're just going after him. And they're going after us here living in the state of Indiana. And uh, the Christians of Indiana, we're under fire. I'm standing up for Governor Mike Pence because I know that he's doing the right thing. Uh, the Indiana law, but look, we're being threatened, okay? Eli Lilly, uh, Angie's List, the NCAA, uh, other, other organizations are threatening to pull their conventions out of downtown Indianapolis, Indiana, which is a beautiful city. It's a great, you got a beautiful convention center. Uh, you know, the stadiums are right there within walking distance, all the restaurants. It's got a beautiful downtown area. Perfect for folks to come and do business. Well, by attacking, lying, it's just, it's an outright lies. And Al Sharpton, I was so, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, would you please turn in your credentials because your outright lies and attacks on Governor Mike Pence were just awful last night on MSNBC. Anyway, folks, I don't believe in discriminating against anybody. I never have and I never will. And that's one thing I will not do. Um, matter of fact, I don't, I, I, I'm just upset that this is a railroading of a good man. Are you serious? The Bible says in the last days they will call evil good and good evil. And we will be persecuted. And we will be tried. And we will be put on uh, and hated and by all nations. And folks, it's happening right out of the prophecies of Matthew 24. And Governor Mike Pence, who some said that he might be going to run for president, they have literally tarred and feathered a man that didn't do anything wrong. Pray for Governor Pence and pray for Indiana and pray for America. Why? And why is the governor of Connecticut and the mayor of Seattle, Washington getting involved and, and saying they're not going to send any of their government workers there? We can't start doing that. You can't start. Come on, guys. We're one nation under God. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the problem. We don't want to be under God, do we?